It was Christmas season. The mood was great everywhere. Mr. and Mrs. Musinguzi had decorating as their family business besides their professions. Two days to Christmas, Timon carried his wife on their brand new motorbike to head out for business and fun. Forty days later, Timon got back from coma, filled with fury due to the loss of his right leg. Comfort, Timon's wife immediately became the circuit, not only for her husband's pain, but for the family's needs. Hello, this is Life Stories. My name is Justine, your host. Welcome to the show. One thing we know for sure is life can change in a second. The amount of time it takes you to wear your lipstick, to turn the light off, to receive an email, it can change just that fast. When I say this, Mr. Timon Musinguzi understands what I'm talking about. The mm. gentleman gets up in the morning and he cannot do anything other than stare at his family, look at his wife do just about everything. Not because he chose so, but because an accident dictated so. To down the show, hear his story, watch him try to survive, but also find out how you can help him. And if the worst thing happens in your life, how do you start to put one foot in front of the other and move forward? This is Life Stories. Welcome to the show. Hello, sir. Hello, madam. How are you doing? I'm doing very well. Really? Mm. Mm. I'm surviving. I heard your story. Yes. Sorry about what happened. Actually, I had a motorcycle mm. and I was calling my wife. Mm. We are designers. We are going to decorate a certain party on the next day. And we had gone to Shenyi to pick some few things. Mm. And we reached at Bushenyi, we picked them. As we are going back, when we reached at Shambusa's place, uh, a vehicle came behind me and knocked me. And uh, unfortunately, or fortunately, my wife was not knocked because she jumped off the motorcycle and went to the road and the vehicle followed me and knocked me. I think the driver decided to follow me than following my wife. Mm. And uh, I was almost in the bush and it knocked me there. And it stopped. The good thing is that uh, he stopped and I was actually on that very time I was dead. I could not even recall anything mm. until they picked me and took me to the hospital. Care you. Timon started his Tuesday with positive energy, plans and hope. He never thought that he could be asleep for the next 960 hours. From coma, Timon battled a lot, especially accepting his new reality. I spent like uh, almost 40 days in a coma. So when I, when I went to, because international hospital, I don't know anything. I was dead. Even in Malago, I don't know. But I remembered when I was out of the hospital, that's when I started coming up. That even when I was in the hospital, I, was, I would come out, but again. Relapse, okay. Yeah. So, yeah, so the leg was... Uh... The, the leg was amputated because it was getting rotten and uh, going up. And uh, the whole of, of it, it was uh, smashed by the vehicle. So it definitely, they could not uh, leave it. They had to cut it. Yeah. Okay, so what happened in the hospital? 40 days in coma, the leg is gone. When, when do you come back to life? Ah, for, for, because I, I would come out as a young kid, mm. but I just came out when I was out of the hospital, even from Monago. Mm. Because from uh, 
international hospital, they took me to, Mo, to Mulago because they asked, one of the doctors asked us, are you going to be paid by the government mm. or not? Like, are you going to be, is your bill going to be catered for by the government? By the government. Uh -huh. And we said, no, we are local peasants. Mm. And the doctor said, you will not manage international hospital. This local place in Mulago. They tell you to take me to Mulago. Mm. And uh, how long had you spent in an international hospital? It was six days. And what was the bill? The bill was uh, for 15, 15 million. 15 six days in a hospital, and the bill was 15 million. Yeah, mm. it was too much. With and no uh, surgery is done or anything. No, nothing. And uh, even uh, some, some, uh, some of my friends and relatives hired the, 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 uh, the cards of the vehicle so that they can pay the bill. Mm. And uh, let alone, we, we, we get some people, our, our friends, my friends, they cleared the bill mm. and went to Mulago. But again, when we went to Mulago, the bill was again big because I'm, I'm told that someone who comes from international hospital cannot go to a private, rather to mm. Malago in these local, local people. They just go to a private. They took me to private, but they catered for me. I thank God because I would not have come out. What happened when you, when you regained your consciousness? What was the feeling? One thing, I think I was still in Mulago by the, when, when I came out, mm. shortly when I came out. I, and uh, I was getting, is it oxygen or food? It was food from here. Mm. And uh, I could not talk. So I could come out, but I could not talk because mm. of this place being cut off. So when you could speak, the sound could not come out. But shortly, I called my wife, and I, I found myself with no leg. I asked him what, what is happening there. He said, she said that I don't have a leg. I just looked at myself as someone who is not going to survive, definitely. Didn't you get angry, didn't you? Definitely, I got angry. Mm. I reached the extent of telling all my relatives there mm. to call me such a people mm. of my, of who are imputated, mm. who can walk properly. They called them. When they brought them, that's when I felt okay. I looked at, at a person coming, walking with no rig. And I said, it's, that's how good planned for me. Mm. Mm. But before these people were brought? The situation was two things. Mm. I would not even now be surviving because mm. I could just think of myself mm. having a family, having no brother, or my brothers died. I looked at my situation, I said, please, I'm going to die. But uh, when they brought the other ones, I felt courageous, I said, I'm going to survive. Timon was used to being in a position of control as a man, husband, father, and school teacher. He had to fight an emotional war as he made the transition to having a disability. When you came back, were you able to get your job back? Were you able to? Mm -hmm. Because when I got an accident, mm. when I came back, I didn't find myself with a leg. I looked at the situation as an replaced person. Mm. But luckily enough, I met, I decided to go and meet one of my boss the headmaster, mm. and he told me that 
Ki wo first go and because I had no money for for making the amputated leg. Mm. So he said that the I should that fish mm. The he decided he told me that why can't you resign and get the money for any system? Mm. I think I said that's a very good idea. Because I know I have worked for this school over ten years. There is money for an SSF. And it is that is the purpose for this. Mm. I resigned. I went to NSSF. They gave me money. I went back to Kampare to make the artificial leg. When I came back, I found I don't have a job. Mm -hmm. That my my post has been re replaced by another person. And so I looked at the situation, I said now, what should I do? I have to go back home. Mm. I gave the condition. Actually, I didn't give, but uh, automatically my wife took over the responsibility of looking at each and everything that I was looking after. Mm. So she's the one looking after. So have you tried to find jobs as well? I have been trying, but only, only when I got some places they they could because of my condition mm. they think that maybe I cannot money. Mm. Yeah. But you though I'm a graduate. You you feel like you can work. I feel I can, can work. Yeah, work. yeah, yeah, I can work. Mm. Mm. Each day that went by, life seemed to get more unfair to Timon Masinguzi, a school where he had taught for over a decade dropped him under complicated circumstances. Change is life's biggest challenge. Timon wondered what he had done so wrong for things to change so much, so bad and so fast in his life. So many things happen in our lives every day, but no matter how bad whatever has happened is, think about how you can put one foot in front of the other and move on with life because life has to move on. Timon is educated, Timon is a graduate. He can be able to work, he is able to work again. I call upon employers, I call upon institutions, schools, anybody who can employ him, please employ him. Please get him back to life. He needs to cater for his family and his life. We'll continue with this story after the break. We'll be right back.